Good morning, good morning, good morning. What an amazing, awesome, just wonderful day it's gonna be today. It's just uh, so fun to know that you are going to make a difference. You're gonna make an impact uh, that God has you ready for a incredible greatness and a destiny that just will be unbelievable. And I can't wait to see how that works and what happens uh, in your life. We've been talking about knowledge and wisdom and having the knowledge. And it reminded me of a story my dad used to tell me all the time about a couple frogs and the two frogs jump into this bucket of milk and they kick and they turn and they kick and they turn. And one of them is saying, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. And he's just speaking that into existence. And the other one is um, like, you know, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And the one that said he can't do it all the time is the one that ended up drowning. He just drowned. But the one that kept saying that he could do it and kept being persistent and kept working, he turned that, that milk and he turned it and he turned it and he turned it and it turned into butter. And then not only did he step on the head of the guy person that died, he just jumped right out of that bucket. And so part of wisdom is just being persistent, knowing when to be persistent and just continuing in your efforts to continue to be persistent, continue to work at something, continue to make things happen without giving up. And it's so easy for us, especially in these days, to just give up. We try it one time, it didn't work out, and we decide to give up. But it's so nice to be able to continue to work at it, work at it, work at it. And that's where the wisdom comes, because the wisdom comes from not only the process of working at it, it's what you learn along the way into the journey. So you guys have an awesome, wonderful, awestruck, just incredible day today. Don't forget, you are God's greatest gift, and he loves you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.